Welcome to part 2 of AWP Tutorial, I'm Tiam Singh. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create work area and work packages. To start our work with work packages, we select the work pack ribbon. First, we need to create the work pack world. You can use auto naming or key in the name of the work pack world manually. Let's look at our model hierarchy. For this tutorial, we are going to create the work pack area based on area 01 in our model. Let's use the create area to create the work area that we need. After the work element is created, we need to define the contents. There are two ways we can do so, using volume definitions or rules. In this tutorial, I will use rules to define the content. As we know, all elements in Area01 has Area01 in the site name. Using this information, we use the syntax all pipe with match var, the name of the site, Area01, to gather all pipes that are found inside the site with the name Area01 in the name. We use the Add icon to add this rule to our work area. Using the same syntax, we gather all equipment and all framework for our work area. Before we quit this form, remember to apply to apply our settings for the rules of element for our work area. Next, I'm going to show you how I create the work packages. We are going to create two work packages, one for mechanical or the equipment, and the other is for piping. In creating the work packages, we also have to select the work package type, like engineering, construction, or procurement, etc. After selecting OK, we will need to select the content of the work package. There are three areas in the work package form. On the left, you can see the items or the elements in the work area. For this, let's filter and I'm interested only in equipment. I will select the elements in the work area for my work package and I can use the normal selection and add them to my work package. The filters area allow you to activate filters to filter the elements in the work area. Once we apply, the work packages will be created. We can use modified pad to modify the work package that we have created. You will see the elements that are in the work pad and also the elements that are in the work area and you can include other elements that have now been added to the work area. We will now create the work pad for the piping. This time we will add all the pipes in our work area to this work package. Now that the work packages have been created, we are going to modify the dates of the work packages using the properties. We can also add the description and function and purpose of the work packages in the properties form.
we use the work packs add to draw list to add the work pack to the view. We can use the pet sequence to actually run through a sequence of the work packs. We need to select the work area followed by the work packs and we can use the run sequence to see the content and the development of the work pack. We can use the forward and backwards button to see the work pack. In the next video, we are going to show you how to use visualization. See you soon. Bye.